Hi, Yarna Bees. It's me, Sandy. How are you today? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to be doing that a lot through here, I'm sure. Okay. Update. As you can tell, I am doing a lot better. Um, after I talked to you guys the last time, uh, my chest got so heavy. It was like an elephant sitting on my chest and I, we started to panic. Um, <clears throat> I thought this is not a good thing. Not at all. Uh, my, my headaches started coming back. I thought, okay, I'm taking a turn. This isn't good. So George and I broke out the ivermectin. <clears throat> I know, I know everybody has their thoughts on ivermectin. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you can't get it in Canada anymore. Uh, our government has shut it down, which is ridiculous. Um, I have lots of words about that, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we ended up getting when, um, things started going really awry in Canada, <clears throat> people were scrambling to get ivermectin before the, the borders shut down um, anything. And <clears throat> we happened to be lucky enough to find someone where we could get it uh, a, a couple doses. We, we were like, he said, keep it in your fridge for up to a year. And in case of emergency, break glass, basically. Uh, <clears throat> we figured that, that this was time. It was time. Um, this had been going <clears throat> on with me for two weeks and I did not seem to be getting better. I mean, I was, I was getting better, but then I would slump and I would get better and I would slump. <clears throat> and so, uh, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I, I just, I got to the point where my body just was giving out and I was like, okay, I've been fighting it. I did not want to take the ivermectin. I wanted my body to do its thing. Um, and <clears throat> I was fighting George every step of the way. And he looked at me and he said, do you want to go to the hospital? Do you want to end up in the hospital on a vent? And I went, no. He says, then take the damn ivermectin. And I was, oh, okay, fine. I am so glad that George pushed me to do this because within a 24 hour period, I was feeling so much better. <clears throat> um, and you could say what you want about it. Horse dewormer, whatever, blah, blah. You know, <clears throat> um, I, I just, I didn't think I was bad enough to warrant having to take it. But, I guess I was starting to get there and <clears throat> all I took was a five milligram dose three times a day for two days. Today's the third day. I haven't taken anything yet, but, um, look at me. I'm, uh, I am way, way better than I was. I cannot deny that it doesn't work. Um, and for the, for people that say, oh my God, it's horse dewormer. How could you put that in your body? Blah, blah, blah. You know what? When you take your pet to the vet, all those medications that they give your pet are actually made for humans. Okay. So ivermectin was actually made for humans long before it was made for horses. Um, look it up, do your research. I'm telling you guys, this stuff turned it around for me. <clears throat> you know, you can, apparently you can get it in pill form. I got, we got it in liquid form. Ugh. I'll tell you, it does not taste good. It, I threw it up the first time. Um, it was not good. So I had to try and get it in behind my tongue and then just start drinking Gatorade like crazy afterwards. <clears throat> but man, I'm telling you. I feel a lot better now. It's just like a, you know, nasal drip kind of thing, right? <laughs> I have a bit of a cough, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> but it's nowhere near like it was. And I'm able to drink a coffee. 
I haven't had a coffee in two and a half weeks. Um, and I could drink a coffee. Yay. <laughs> Thank God for small miracles. Um, so take it, take what you want from this. Um, but I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on this, get, get if you can get the pill form, take that. Oh my God. Um, but it was amazing the difference that it made. Um, within an hour, I was like, holy cow, like I felt so much better. <clears throat> we put Vicks on my chest and on my back. Um, I took my Tylenol and I went to bed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I went to bed and I woke up yesterday and I was like, oh my God, I feel like a new person. So yeah, now it's just like a nasally drip thing and I can handle that. I, I can handle that all day long, you know, so, <clears throat> um, so thank you, George. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know, this really did scare us. It really did. It was not, not a good thing. And, <clears throat> um, I, I thank, thank all the gods out there that we had got that ivermectin because man, it saved my butt. <clears throat> now, um, a lot of you had said, go to your doctor. They've got stuff they can give you. Not in Canada, not in BC anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> in BC uh, and all across Canada, um, the government has <sighs> squashed a lot of stuff and it's they're forcing us to get the vaccine and <clears throat> they won't give us anything to help us through this why i don't know it's like they want people to die i just i'm so sickened by what's happening <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's i'm not even going to talk about biden but I mean, you guys have your own war down there, but up here it's, it's not good. And, you know, um, I, I just don't understand how the government can go against their people and make them sicker. And I mean, there's money in sickness, right? There's money, money to be made in healthcare. And uh, I guess <clears throat> the money means more to them than people's lives. And it just makes me ill to know that um, they're allowing people to go through this. They know that there are things out there. I, you know what? I don't give a shit if they buy up all the ivermectin and sell it to us. I don't care. I will buy it and they will make all their goddamn money. But give us something that's going to help us. Sorry, I'm getting woohoo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a little rant there. <clears throat> but it's true. If they are so worried about people taking this stuff, that ivermectin cost $11.99 at a feed store. And it's helping. You know, like, come on. You know, it's cheap stuff. And it's helping people. You know, if they go and buy it all and sell it back to us, who cares? Who cares? Just give it to us. <coughs> but no, <coughs> they want us to get vaccinated. The vaccines aren't even working. People are still getting sick. I'm hearing about it all the time. People that are vaccinated are getting COVID two, three times. Right. And they're saying it's the unvaccinated that's all in the hospital. Oh, okay. I got to stop now. I gotta stop. I have to just whoa back off. <clears throat> Whew, rain it in. All right. Anyway, I'm getting better. Uh, so thank you everybody um, for for your comments <coughs> and your well wishes. It's gonna take some time for me to get over. Uh, as it does with everybody that gets this, right? <coughs> but it is what it is, 
right? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go now. Because <laughs> that was... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just kind of, you know, I mean, I was angry about all this before I got this COVID. But now that I've had it and I know what it feels like, I'm even more angry. I am, I, why well, I don't understand why people aren't standing up and just fighting. And anyway. Whether you got vaccinated or not, we should all be angry <clears throat> and not angry at each other. We should be angry at the government um, for what they've done. They, they are the ones that started this and they are the ones that are, are, are punishing us for what they did. And it's not right. <clears throat> and they're pitting us against each other. We should not be fighting with each other. Whether we're vaccinated or unvaccinated, we should not be fighting with each other. People are losing family members over this. And I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about people who won't even talk to their family members or their loved ones and their friends because one's vaccinated, one's unvaccinated. Are you kidding me? We're supposed to be banding together, not falling apart, you know, and we're supposed to be fighting this together, you know. For God's sakes, you know, like, oh. anyway, okay, I said I'm going to go, right? All right. I love you all. I don't care if you're vaccinated, unvaccinated, black, white, yellow. I don't care. I love you all. I love you all the same. And I wish only the best for you guys. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy. Take your vitamins. Take whatever you need to take to stay healthy. Okay. I'm, I'm watching our community fall here. There's so many of us out there that are sick. And it's, it's just, it hurts me to see this going on. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I'm reaching out to all of you and, and wrapping my arms around you. Okay. And just like you did with me and, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's stick together. Okay. Oh, gonna cry. Gotta go. I love you all. Okay. Bye. Bye.